Welcome to Revolutions, the show that brings you in-depth details of the gear industry. I'm your host, Alex Mella, and today I'm with Dwight Smith of Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. We're going to be talking about the manufacturing of internal ring gears. Dwight, uh, I know that the Z120A is one of the machines that's kind of big for Mitsubishi in this field. Can you tell us a little bit about what makes the Z120A a little different from other grinding machines? Right, the Z120A is the world's only generating internal gear grinder. And so that makes it obviously uh, unique in the world. It revolutionizes the mass production of ring gears. For the first time, it's economically feasible to grind ring gears uh, in mass production. And it has everything to do with cycle time and the high rate of material removal. Okay. In the conventional methodology of grinding an internal gear, you'd use a single rib grinding wheel and it would be forced to grind one gap at a time. And it could take, uh, well, half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour to make one gear. But when you can grind one in under two minutes, yeah. it changes the equation completely. So this is a real breakthrough. Okay. So what are kind of some of the challenges that you can run into when trying to develop? Um, That's an excellent question, because in any process with any machine, there's always going to be some physical limitations. Mm -hmm. So if I may demonstrate this, yeah. the, the process requires the use of a crossed axis. So by having this axis at an angle, at some point, we are eventually going to have an interference with the geometry of the workpiece. So the face width length, the location of the face width within the component, the cross axis angle necessary will all interact to put a physical limitation on the process. Another thing that has to be considered is the gear itself. The, the internal gear must not have a interfering contour, for example, like a closed bottom. I, I must be able to move the tool all the way through the face width with a certain amount of over travel, some millimeters below the bottom of the part. So that limits it to certain configurations. However, fortunately, those are widely employed in planetary gear sets. And so uh, it doesn't really prove to be much of a limit at all. Okay. Uh, so what are some of the things that Mitsubishi has done with machines like the Z128 to kind of tackle some of those challenges? They took an extensive amount of time developing the machine tool itself stiffness, very high speed spindles are necessary. Uh, unlike threaded wheel external grinding, internal grinding uh, by nature uses a much smaller wheel. Okay. And so you have less peripheral speed. You have a smaller metal removal rate. So they've developed things like 15,000 RPM spindles for the workpiece, very high speed tables and the rigidity to minimize any sort of uh, 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 vibration or, or, or problems with the machining process. Okay. So they've overcome that through, really, through science. And what, what would you say are some of the kind of primary benefits of using these engines? The, the huge thing is the speed of the process. Uh, the customers use the, using it now are basically making master quality gears in mass production. Okay. And this has never been before possible. So it, it changes everything if you're looking to grind internal gears in production. Okay. Yeah, I would, I would just add that this is not aimed at a job shop where you're gonna make one part. Mm -hmm. This is a tool up for volume production. Switching over to, to the actual um, process itself, what, what are kind of some of the advantages of uh, threaded wheel grinding itself? Threaded wheel grinding's main advantage is the fact that it's a continuous process. Mm -hmm. One, Plus, for any generating grinding operation, is typically you get much better pitch accuracy. Mm -hmm. So compared to a single index grinding, where the, the part has to move to the next location with extreme accuracy and then grind, this is in continuous mesh with the workpiece. Okay. So nothing has to start and stop. Mm -hmm. So it's continuous generating grinding. Uh, high metal removal rate, of course, is, is the big plus. Uh, speed, speed, speed. Okay. Okay. Um, are, are there any other um, machines for the manufacturing of internal ring gears that Mitsubishi offers aside from the Z120A? And do they potentially uh, fill any niches that the Z120A doesn't? For hard gear finishing, which is the realm of the Z-I-20A, mm -hmm. uh, to grind this gear after heat treat, it right now is state of the art and okay. is the only machine of its kind that can okay. do that job. 
Now, in the internal gear world, Mitsubishi mm -hmm. has by far the fullest line. We can do gear shaping. Mm -hmm. We can deal with our federal broach division. We can do gear broaching. Okay. And with our Mitsubishi super skiving machine and tools, mm -hmm. we have the most advanced technology for gear skiving, which okay. is a green operation prior to heat treat. So by covering these different methods in the green, that presents the gear to the grinder for final okay. finishing. Okay. Uh, one last question. Uh, is there anything else that we uh, you wanted to talk about that we kind of haven't covered yet today? One of the things that we have found out through conversations with our customers is that Mitsubishi equipment is reliable. Mm -hmm. And this was not something that we have told customers, although we're, we're starting to say it now, because every customer I talk to says how well the machines run. And I started asking our engineers why that was the case. And I learned that through this Kaizen process of talking with customers continuously, this idea of continuous improvement is a way of life with Mitsubishi. They're okay. constantly improving these, these pieces of equipment. Another factor was the fact that right from the very design stage, every bearing and ball screw and slide was chosen for a huge multiplier of life compared to a standard machine. Let's pick a number. A machine tool might be designed to last for 20,000 hours of operation. Mm -hmm. Our machine tool designers are told to make one that lasts for 60,000. Okay. Right from the very design, this reliability is, is engineered into the product. That was really interesting to learn okay. this year. All right, well, thank you very much for joining me on this episode yes. of Revolutions. Thank you. Uh, if you guys want to see this or other episodes of Revolutions, you can find them on geartechnology.com slash TV.